hello everyone welcome to the empress tarot i am coming to you today with another reading on today this reading is going to be about divine masculine uh just the kind of uh counter the reading that i did yesterday on divine feminine today i'm going to do a divine masculine masculine reading with the same uh criteria that I uh, had for Divine Feminine's reading, which was um, the masculine's current mood, um, how the masculine is feeling about the feminine, the obstacle and the outcome for Divine Feminine and Divine, well, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Okay, immediately what is popping out at this moment is the lovers. Okay, so this is, um, is this time to start this reading, but before we get started, and then the Wheel of Fortune, so, uh, possibly, uh, not possibly, but the Wheel is starting to turn, um, to where it's starting to turn in the favor of love, and, uh, this is something that is ordained by God, because we know that the lover's part is the yes to the divine masculine and the divine feminine's union so with that being said um, i'm gonna say a quick prayer and then we're gonna get this reading started oh because it seems like spirit is ready so um god while i do this reading i just ask that this reading uh reaches who it's supposed to reach god I also ask that you protect and cover each and every one under the sound of my voice. God, I also ask that there is clarity to this reading and that it resonates to whomever it's supposed to resonate to and help whomever it is supposed to help. With that being said, thank you, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. We welcome you into this reading. And let's get started all right so first we're going to start off with what is the current mood that divine masculine is in right now what is the current mood that divine masculine is in right now all right it seems like he's working a lot um he's trying to learn more he's in the energy of wanting to learn more and build his materials Yeah, he, uh, seems like he wants to, to, his current mood is, uh, seems like he's trying to make himself better for you, Divine Feminine, um, or, well, for you, I'm assuming it's you, I don't know, but it seems like he's definitely trying to advance himself. Um, put his stuff in, uh, like he's, he's just really working hard, seems like. Um, okay, now we're going to ask, yeah, he wants, uh, a new beginning. He wants to start anew with you. I'm going to say it's you because I see the queen of pentacles here. And we know that the Queen of Pentacles can be uh, a wife, but we know that the Queen of Pentacles is someone who's abundant, who um, who's who brings comfort to the home. She's uh, someone who takes care of the kids, but although she takes care of the kids, she also uh, go out and and do her do her thing so it kind of seems like he's trying to match your energy um divine feminine um let's see so when it comes to how does he feel about divine feminine he thinks that you're like being secretive he knows that your your intuition is lit uh, he's feeling a, a overwhelmed burden. He feels responsible 
for uh i'm sure for the burden seems like he's feeling the responsibility of it and, and wanting to take that responsibility he's feeling a is as i sense some sneakiness um being sly Maybe a little trickery. Probably is trying to sneak his way back in. I'm just, you know, throwing that out there. Um, and also, he is uh, definitely in his head um, trying to figure out what to do about this situation. He's kind of stuck right now, but it's only because he's trying to get enlightened as to what is going on with you if that makes sense divine uh feminine um also now we're gonna go to the obstacles that divine masculine is having when it comes to divine feminine the obstacle that divine masculine is having when it comes to divine feminine um he he really doesn't know how to start this new beginning. He his creativity seems to be lacking in um seems to be lacking in the love department. It's like he wants to take action and start anew, but it, he doesn't know how. He doesn't know how. And it seems like there's um hidden things that's going on as to why this obstacle is here as to why he's not being able to take this leap of faith like there's some type of deception and i say that because of what's at the bottom of the deck the moon card you know the moon card is like illusions and um things that are hidden that you know we just don't see at the moment so it's something that he's hiding that's holding him back from taking a leap of, of faith towards you a new he wants to he wants this to be something new and fresh uh, as a way of, for you guys to start over but he's been um basically held back so what is the outcome for divine masculine and divine feminine oh. Right. Okay, so just from reading these cards, um, and the the King of Swords is at the bottom. Okay. It's like this in this deck. The King of Swords is at the bottom. It seems that um, he's building up his strength to come in and offer happiness. And this is something that um, will cause quick change. And it, he's going to move very quickly when doing this. So the outcome for this situation is that he is um, building up. He's building up the, the strength to speak because that's what the, the king of swords do he speaks he uh he's a great speaker at that um he knows what he wants and he knows how to articulate what he wants and so that's what the masculine is doing um in divine feminine reading i pulled that he was uh making sure that when he approaches that he approaches in a way to where he has everything together and that's even with his speech he wants to make sure that when he comes to talk to you that um what he's saying you understand um and that he gets his point across and that it's reciprocated so he um he wants happiness with you and he wants a quick change he wants quick change and he's gonna it seems like he's gonna move quickly to do this okay so i'm gonna clarify some of the cards for divine masculine divine masculine was was is going pretty quickly 
Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's clarify. I'll clarify. Um, the Queen of Pentacles. What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles? Who is this? What's going on? Oh. So the current, because the Six of Wands came up in the reverse. And like I said, the Queen of Pentacles is a wife, usually. Uh, she's very nurturing, take care of the kids, still has her... Uh, still you know will have work and take care of home she's that type of person but it says right here that oh and then look what's at the bottom of the deck so what's currently going on with the masculine is that um it seems like him and this uh this masculine that is being uh pulled on is um could possibly be married and that's no longer working he no longer wants this um and he's no longer working at it no longer is he working at it uh let's i'm gonna clarify that eight of and it, it seems like he's being secretive about it because the car landed on the high street it seems like he's being secretive about this about what he's doing yeah, he is, uh, he's healing. He's healing and, and wishing and working on his emotions and, uh, being emotionally fulfilled at this time. So he, if, if your masculine was married or in a commitment, it seems that that is not working at the moment. And... What he is doing right now is working on himself. Some very similar to what Divine Feminine was um, was doing on yesterday, working on um, her emotions, and that's what he's doing as well. It's like he's mirroring you, Divine Feminine. Um, so that's his his current mood right now. He is working on himself because he is no longer with someone um whatever he was if he was this situation he was in a real not a relationship this was something this was a commitment more than just a your regular relationship this was like a marriage um that's no longer being worked on and it's not um it's no longer a successful marriage um how he feels about you he feels that you know he feels like you know what's going on you know what's going on you know that he is uh burdened by this situation and you know the truth about this uh marriage that's how he feels he feels like you know you know and that's why he is uh wanted to come in and take action towards you and express himself uh let's see the ten of wands let's see let's <laughs> all right yeah this is um him being overwhelmed he feel like you you are overwhelmed because he's not coming in and expressing himself and so he feels like you're overwhelmed and that yeah he feels like if he doesn't come in and express himself to start a new beginning with you that you're going to move on that's what he feels he feels like you're gonna move on um he feels like some way somehow that the connection that you guys had was 
stolen. Like it could have been stolen, deceived, deception played a part in this. And he's in his head about it. Like what is really going on? Uh, that's his current feelings towards you at this moment. Um, I'm going to clarify the hangman. And I'm just clarifying all the cards because not many cards came off of them, I'm asking. Um, yeah, he's he's feeling like he, he thought that maybe, like, I'm thinking that he probably thought that this Queen of Pentacles person was the person who he this was supposed to happen with the lovers he thought that that was his divine feminine but he got tricked like there was trickery around this and he feels like you know about all of this um that there was trickery around this situation and he's now wanting you to find balance towards the situation and to understand or he feels that you understand what's going on with the situation how um he was tricked into believing that a divine feminine wasn't really a divine feminine that you were actually the divine feminine if that makes sense. So this is definitely a third party uh, situation. No fans or buts about it. And he is um, wanting to successfully move on with you. Because he feels that you are enlightening. You know what is, is what's going on. He, he, he knows that you know. And it's like you two are in sync. Because like I said with his current mood. He is currently healing um, himself, working hard to heal himself from this unsuccessful union that he had with this Queen of Pentacles. All right, so when it comes to the obstacle, why do we have, <laughs> yeah, um, there are some hidden enemies around him that is causing oh, there that is causing him not to take this leap towards you. Um, let's see when it comes to this. Uh, Ace of Wands, there's deception all around this Ace of Wands. Um, yeah, someone ha is, is trying to win at all costs, and they could have, they is like they're waiting on something to come in to where, like, this per. It's like plans and stuff have been made to end this. And so that's the obstacle. It's like he is being deceived about um, coming towards the divine feminine. And whoever this person is, they are trying to win at all costs. Let me... Yeah, like I said, plans are being made to stop this. Oh. And I'm clarifying the Five of Swords. Yeah, this is a, a Queen of Cups person uh, that's working out of a Queen of Wands. Mode. She is, uh, this person is, uh, emotional, um, and uh, the type of person who takes action. And she is doing stuff, deceptive stuff, to keep this 
masculine from coming in and giving this offer. Um, I would even go as far as to say that she is doing magic. She's she's definitely creating illusions uh, about him coming towards you. And she has planted seeds and have made plans and she's just waiting to see uh, if what she's saying is going to come into fruition. She's she look, she this is the fruit. And you can see the hands pushing two people away from each other. Like get 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 away from each other. And what she's doing is uh she's playing this role of being so emotional and so um concerned about what's going on and um just being there and and helping out like she's playing a role um and it's it's basically working um it seems like because he's divine masculine it, this is the obstacle he sees for those of you where your masculine has not come forward yet and you know that they're in a third it's a third party relationship this is why he's not coming forward um so he's being manipulated basically but he's grown you know we, as grown people we have to learn how to decipher what is manipulation and what is not but with that being said uh he's definitely being manipulated and she is doing everything in her power to keep him stuck to where he doesn't come towards you divine feminine yeah because she know that they're that this is a divine union that is supposed to be together and you guys will provide um security stability uh you guys will be that foundation for each other to to build and grow nurture love she knows all of that and she's doing everything in her power to stop it. So that's the obstacle when it comes to the outcome. Right. Yeah, so um, it says an outcome that divine masculine is going to get the strength. To come in with um, a law a love offer uh, we're gonna clarify that love offer yeah because he wants to heal he wants to heal and and move forward so he's gonna come in he's coming in as a knight he's coming in as a knight uh, which is a little concerning but I guess I can understand him coming in as a knight if you guys have been in separation um, it seems like he probably wouldn't know just how to come to you just yet. So he's probably going to come in as a knight. Um, that's the only way I could see him coming in as a knight. But he's going to come in. He's going to get the strength to come in and offer an apology. Offer, you know, some love. Clarify the sign. Yeah, and he's going to, uh... open up about why he's been distant and, and not coming around and just, you know, resting and relaxing. It's like he's been rejuvenating, getting him, himself together. Like like I said in Divine Feminine's reading yesterday, it's like um, he's really been working on himself. It may seem like he's avoiding you and not wanting to talk to you and just, you know, giving you the cold shoulder, but... He's really uh, been working on himself and he's been getting himself together um, to be more joyous, happy, um, inspiring. Look, you can see uh, whomever this person is, they like doing yoga, uh, getting enlightenment and just they're happy. Just over, you can just see the happiness in this card. And that's what he's been uh, working on. To come in and 
with quick communication with quick communication and change things let's see how about this look what's at the bottom of the deck again let's see Yeah, he's um the king of wands. This is uh the as we know the king of wands. He's he's brave. He when he comes in, he comes in knowing what he wants and he goes after. He's the go-getter of the kings. He goes after what he wants and he gets it. Um even if he has um obstacles, he stands up and he fights. Uh, he is. He knows that because he goes from the eight to the nine, which he quickly eight of wands to the nine of wands, which means that he is now quickly coming in, taking the action, and knowing that he's at the last stretch of this, and so he knows that he needs to do something, and that's why he's coming in, taking this action for this happiness. He's coming out of this uh, resting state and restoration state he's coming out of that and now he's taking action towards you so that you guys can heal what's been going on so that you guys can heal and uh he feels like there's hope for the situation like there's hope and this is his wish fulfillment this is his wish fulfillment uh let's i wanted to clarify the Night of emotions. I'm coming in as a night. Why is coming in as a night? Uh, yeah, because he doesn't like. Like I said, he doesn't know how you're going to react to him presenting this new opportunity to you. So he doesn't want to be rejected and he doesn't want to regret uh so he doesn't want to come in as the king of cups because he don't know what you're he thinks that you are in like you you're upset with him and so he doesn't want to come in um just given king vibes when he don't know if you you know feel like that about him so he's coming in as a knight, um, wanting to give you, <coughs> I'm sorry, wanting to give you uh, love, wanting to come in and manifest the two of emotions, which we know the two of emotions is where he wants both of you guys to give the love and not just him and uh, knights, knights think like in a way of, they don't think like, well, okay, I'm going to just be the one to put my whole heart out there. No, they, they don't think like that. I'm sorry, y'all, the train is about to pass. But I hope y'all can still hear me. Um, They don't think like that. They think uh, usually like, okay, well, let me kind of, you know, tap my feet in the water first before I just dive in the pool. And so that's what he's basically doing. Just, you know, trying to, he's going to come in and try to get a feel of, should I offer her this cup or should I not? So he'll probably come in and apologize and not just come straight out and say, hey, I want to offer you love. It'll probably just be like an apology letting you know that he understand what where he went wrong at or where the situation went. Uh, yeah, like for all the mess, chaos, confusion, uh, he's going to come in and, you know, kind of, fizzle that out first before he just step in and say here's love I got nothing but love for your baby no that's not gonna happen uh, with a knight alright so uh dang divine masculine was straight to the point to be honest with you alright so we're gonna do uh the hidden truth oh cool All right. 
right. The hidden truth. So when it comes to divine masculine, what is the hidden truth about his current situation? What is the hidden truth about divine masculine's current situation? All right. So he says, I love you unconditionally. I wish I could take back my words. And I wonder if you're happy without me. So, and finding out the truth crushed me. Okay, so he wants you to know that, uh, Divine Feminine, he wants you to know that he loves you unconditionally. Uh, you guys probably got into an argument where he said some things or I don't know why I'm picking up on like he could have went and talked about you to people just because he didn't understand the connection so he probably said that you are not the one for him um but whatever the case may be whether it was y'all got into an argument or he went behind and talked behind your back or it was both um he's wishing that he could take those words back and um i wonder if you're happy without me he he wonders like how you do without him because on in the reading yesterday it seems like you was coming up as the nine of pentacles which is boss chick so he's looking at that and saying like i wonder if she's you know really happy without me and then what we have at the bottom is saying finding out the truth crush me I think that's when he found out who the real divine feminine is. Remember I told y'all in the, how he feels about you is him finding out and you finding out that you were the real divine feminine, not the queen of pentacles person. Um, and I think that that crushed him. I think that that crushed him because um, I don't know, have you ever been in like a situation where you really liked somebody, you really liked them, you wanted to be with them, um, but you, it's like things held y'all back. It could have been traditions, it could have been the culture, it could have been whatever, but it held you back from this person. And so you stop. You, you you stop dealing with this person because of what of what people you know what, what you grew up knowing or what the tradition is with the culture so you stop dealing with the person and then or somebody could have came and told you something you know bad about the person that turned you away from the person but you really like the person and so the person who tells you that um they put themselves to be the better option and you start dating that person only to find out the whole time you should have been with the person who you really wanted to be with and so now you've done because you've done so much stuff to shun the person who you really wanted to be with away to where now you once you find out what's really going on, you you crushed. And that's what he's saying, finding out the truth crushed me. But let's see how was the hidden truth about how he feels about you. Uh, about how divine masculine feels about divine feminine. You came closer than anyone. That's what, yeah. You came closer than anyone. And that's why finding out the truth crushed him because... It seems like with this situation you guys got into it or lies or whatever was, was being thrown out and, and words were being, bad words were being thrown at each other. And you were, Divine Feminine was the person who opened up Divine Masculine uh, more than, the real Divine Feminine, more than anybody else. And so that's what um what what crushes him and he's saying that you came closer divine feminine divine masculine is saying that you came closer than anyone that's how he feels about you at this moment that's what's hidden 
but you probably don't know because it seems like on yesterday when I did Divine Feminine Read, you was thinking that he had no love for you. But he did. He did. And at the bottom of the deck, I know I was distraction from your pain. So he's thinking that he was helping, you know, like, oh, I'm just here to help her with her pain. So she just used me, basically. That's what it seems like he's thinking about you, uh, Divine Feminine. All right. The hidden truth about the obstacle. About the obstacle Divine. Okay. The hidden truth. So it seems like uh, whoever this message is for, it seems like I left you before you could leave me. So it seems like uh, Divine Masculine, this Divine Masculine is a flighter. And if you guys got into an argument, instead of coming back and saying, well, hey, look, you know, we got into it. Let's talk about this. He left. He left. With no return. So that's why Divine Feminine is feeling the way that she's feeling. And that's why he's having a hard time coming in and offering, uh, taking the action to start a new journey. Because he just left, seemed like. And then he says, I remember every detail of that day. So to the Divine Feminine that's listening, don't, listen don't think that he does not remember what... Uh, Oh, don't think he don't remember what happened that day because he does and don't think that he doesn't care because he do it's just that he's a flighter he's a flighter and he says I feel you leaving me behind so I, I'm just going to say it um, divine masculine I'm going to be honest with you um, you by you just leaving like that Divine Feminine is getting to a point to where she is starting to leave the situation behind because she's you, you're not doing anything. It seems like you're not you to you you it's you are saying that you're working hard to heal and and come and work this out, but she don't know that she don't know that. So now she's starting to leave. She's starting to leave. She's starting to say, what is the point of sitting around here waiting? Like, you only have one life. Why wait around for somebody who is not showing nothing? That's what it seems like. Like, you're not showing nothing, Divine Masculine. I'm just being honest. That's what it seems like. And you starting to feel her leaving you behind. Um, I see. I will say this if you, Divine Masculine, if you, if whoever this resonates with, if you want this Divine Feminine, you're gonna have to step up. You're gonna have to show something because what you given now, I know in the background you're doing a whole lot, but. Face value, you ain't showing nothing look like. You're going to have to show something. Something. I'm just saying. All right, when it comes to the outcome, what is the hidden message for the outcome? The hidden truth. <laughs> oh, a lot came out for oh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to show what's at the bottom of the deck first. Divine Masculine says, I want you. I want you, Divine Feminine. I want you. All right. I'm going to take them all. All right. I want to feel that way again. So it seems like uh, Divine Feminine made Divine Masculine very happy. And he says, I want to feel that way again. Divine Feminine. Masculine says you speak to me you speak to me through music. So the vibe masculine is hearing songs that um that reminds him of the divine feminine. It's time for me to heal now. That's what divine masculine is saying. 
We both know I am not the one for you. For some reason. The vibe masculine is feeling like. He's not. For you. And that's probably what is also taking him so long to come toward you, Divine Feminine, because he is, he is, the, why, I'm, he feeling like he's not the, the one for you. Hmm, that's interesting. I couldn't let you get close to me. I want to clarify why we both know I am not the one for you. Why does Divine Masculine feel like that? Why does he feel like... So what he's doing is he's uh, Divine Masculine. Stop playing a, a victim, Divine Masculine. This is a great opportunity that uh, God has for you, but you're playing the victim to this situation. Um, stop this woe is me, woe is me. Get out of that divine masculine. Uh, if you want this divine feminine, you need to you need to go for it. You need to go for it and stop uh, with this. I don't think she wants me. I know I'm not the one for her and all of this. That's not the case. That's not the case. Yeah, you need to uh, take some action. You need to take some action and, and, and go in and get that fire lit. I mean, Y'all don't necessarily have to do fire, you know, make the fireworks explode and all that. No, not yet. But definitely, you know, put yourself out there and stop feeling sorry for yourself. Alright, I couldn't let you get close to me. Why? Because of some type of truth that he... Some type of truth that he always uh, probably grew up on, seems like. Yeah, he couldn't let you get close to him. Because, yeah, uh, it seemed... Well, because he was married. He was married. Or in a in a, a, a commitment. Now he's divorced because both the queen and king of swords came out. He's divorced now, but he was he was married, and that's what's taking him so long to come to you. And we pulled this yesterday in Divine Feminine's read, where he is. Look how beautiful this this horse is. Um. He's really, you know, working hard on himself. This is out of his current mood, but he's working hard on himself, getting himself together to come in to offer you, to bring you an offer. Uh, he could be coming in with a lot of beautiful flowers for you. His number of flowers, number of pretty flowers. So he could be coming in with some flowers. For those of you who like flowers, uh, be expecting flowers. But he, he's taking his time coming in with this offer. He's taking his time coming in with this offer. Uh, because in the past, he couldn't allow you to get close to him because he was married, going through a divorce. But he's coming in, uh, yeah. He's building himself up and made a choice that he's going to come in and successfully come in and, and give you this offer. So, um, now we're going to use the angel clarifiers. Playfulness. Playfulness. All right. So, Divine Masculine's current mood. What do the angels have to say for Divine Masculine's current mood? Oh, so children, 
your love life is being affected by children. So, with the, the Queen of Pentacles, we know that she is uh, a mom. And um, that she, you know, um, if she's a mom, she's, I'm sure, his baby mom, a wife with, a wife with, with kids. Um, at this moment, his divine masculine is being affected by children. So if you're wondering why feminine was going on, he is tying up loose ends and he, it seems like instead of at least letting you know what's going on, he's keeping you out. He don't want you to be affected by this at all. So he's keeping you totally blind about whatever is going on with his life. Divine masculine, whatever floats your boat. I just think a little, a little information wouldn't hurt. Saying something or saying, "Hey, look, this is what's going on with my situation." Wouldn't hurt the situation if you were trying to be with divine feminine. And it says, "Yes, this is your soulmate." So even with everything that's going on with the situation. Yes, divine masculine, divine feminine is your soulmate. Stop thinking you're not the one. And you need to call in your soulmate. It says calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualization. Visual, uh, why I always mess that word up. Visualizations help bring you together. So just like yesterday with Divine of Feminine. And it says give your relationship a chance. Um, pray about it. Affirm. Speaking into existence. Divine Masculine instead of visualizing why you're not the one for Divine Feminine. Visualize why you are the one for her. Because it says, give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership. All right, angels, what do y'all have to say about the obstacle that came out for Divine Feminine yesterday? Like I said, it's enjoy. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So... Definitely, um, y'all may be spending the up and coming holidays together. And then this is in the reverse. And what's in the reverse is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, with this being in the obstacle portion... And again, was soulmate is at the bottom of the deck again. But with this being in the obstacle portion of the reading, it just kind of seems like enjoy each other, but don't rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush. Uh, don't rush it too fast. And stop thinking negative about the situation stop thinking negative about the situation and just enjoy it just enjoy it i'm gonna clarify this uh in the reverse all right and the outcome for divine masculine with this situation when it comes to divine feminine So it says, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then it says, it's time to disconnect from the world. Retreat. So, Divine Masculine is healing right now. So he is going to be separated. He separated, um... 
and he's disconnected uh, from everything. But it seems like once he heals everything, he wants to retreat and disconnect from everybody with you see like how they just walk in just them two so it seems like one's divine masculine heals himself and get himself back on track he wants to come in and take you divine feminine and you guys go by yourselves and retreat and have this honeymoon of uh, honeymoon phase together and this was at the bottom of the deck playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so just kind of have fun just kind of have fun I want to clarify stay optimistic about your love life in the reverse Yeah, so that's why it's in the obstacle portion because um, someone is, well, we know who's holding on. It's the third party who is holding on um, to this situation and it's uh, making it hard for Divine Masculine to stay optimistic about you guys. <clears throat> Look, don't want me to talk. <clears throat> It's hard for him to stay optimistic about this situation and come into the honeymoon phase with you, Divine Feminine. All right, so this concludes, I want to make sure that I got everything. This concludes the Divine Masculine reading uh, to the, the Divine Masculines who resonate with this reading. Please reach out and and just kind of give something to this divine feminine if that's who you you're wanting to be with uh give her something because she is thinking that you are not interested at all and clearly if you're doing all this hard work you wouldn't you you wouldn't want all this hard work to go to waste because she's moving on i'm just being honest she's moving on and if she moves on, she's going to be blessed with something very good. You don't want that. You need to reach out. And like I told Divine Feminine, follow your heart. Whatever your heart is telling you to do. So with that being said, Divine Masculines, you guys have a blessed day. And I wish you the best.